Oh, this one's not used for, for chai. Ay, ay, ay. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Hello beautiful humans, this is Minty D in Uganda, the Pearl of Africa. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel, The Life. Now on today's episode, I'm really excited to meet with a local woman called Lillian. Now Lillian is living here in this hut. She's got three children. I'm looking forward to understanding how she lives her life the challenges that she faces and to be doing that with her, to experience that together. So now we're gonna go say hello to Lillian, who's over there washing already at this time in the morning. It's very, very early. She's already hard at work. So let's go say hello and present her with this yummy pineapple that we can share together. Lillian! <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Uh, hey. Hey, hello, what's the good here? Ah, Balunji, this is for you. Hey, <laughs> no problem. Now, Kakati, I'm told that there's some clothing inside. So, can we go and get to change? Oh. I need to be wearing something more appropriate because today we're going to be doing a bit of digging. Oh, she's already got, oh, she's got a bit of a move on with the. Nasha hip shagame. Kakati to gende. Now Lillian. Um, ah, Sanse. Ah, hello. We've got another friend who's just arrived. <laughs> so I now have my outfit that the women would normally wear around this area, the local women and I'm ready to get myself into work. I'm ready to help and contribute and understand what it is like to live this life that the local women around the Luero district and other villages around Uganda live. I'm here, let me help you. What can I do? So we've got our jerry can here. The jerry can she's already brought early this morning. She's got a bucket here she's using she's, and she's got some pots and some small bit of soap here. And she's using just a small amount of water to wash everything. Here is the bucket of all the clean things ready to be dried, ready to dry, be dried by the sun basically. This one I think, I'm not sure what we're gonna use that one for. You let me help you. Yeah, you, yeah. And also, you know, you're in a, you're in, in a, you, there's nowhere to do, to do this washing up high. So you're bending over a lot. So there's a lot of pain in the back. So I would imagine she's getting a lot of back pain. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's just absolutely no comparison to a structure to Western culture where we just have, thank you Lillian, we're Bali, where we just have so much ease in being able to access, you know, these basic necessities, having a cup of tea, making a bit of breakfast, you know, it's, it's, it's a completely different life and uh, I, like I'm really understanding those challenges in a completely different way, you know. Um, it's it's a lot of work, and you know, yeah, people can people talk about feeling like complaining if they haven't had a coffee or they can't do anything. You know, these women are already doing more than what most people would even do in a day. These women are doing more than what most people would be doing in a day, and that's before they've even had a cup of tea. So now she's preparing these banana leaves, which she's just cut from the garden here. 
And this is where we're going to, I think we're going to dry the utensils. Kakati wanu. So now, we're using this a little bit of water in here. Oh, you've got quite a lot of cups. Yeah, we used to have these cups at home. Waka, Australia. We have these, uh, these ones. And Lillian, um, so the children in the morning, they have to wait for you to fetch the water. Are you worried about their safety? You're not so worried about them. So they so they seem to be pretty safe here. That the, the community is a really good community to look after one another and support one another. Okay, Lillian, I see that someone has been very kind and has given you a coal, little something here. So the beautiful thing about the community in general and at large in Uganda is that they really do help one another. So there's been times when Lillian has really, really struggled. I mean, it's a struggle to live every day. You never know when you're, you're going to be facing challenges yourself. Oh, I see, well, now we're using, oh, you've used some of the roof. She's had to use some of the roof of her home to make the fire. She doesn't have anything, there's nothing around that can be used, it's all too damp. So she's actually had to take something from her roof to make the fire, just so that she can make chai for the children. Can you imagine that, taking part of your roof to, to use as firewood? And here we have fire, careful sweet pea. Then there's a risk of burning oneself. Then it goes underneath. Wow, geez, that fire is huge. Okay. And now this is the part where we build up the fire. And let's see if I can just break some more sticks. So we're lucky we've got this bit of stick here that's not damp, that's dry. And think I should go and get you got some chai in, in uh, waka kakati chai waka yes okay let Linda call let me go and get the chai from inside yeah a uh, water you want water okay first we this one this is a really nice pot I really like this pot, Lillian. This is great for making stew, like beans and... Oh, this one's not used for, for chai? No. Oh, it's looking pretty clean. Oh! Sorry, no, no, let me clean it, that's okay. No, let me clean it. Yeah, that's all right, let me do it. Is this enough amazi? So now, oh wow, the fire is coming on. I'll go get the chai. I saw that you had some chai inside. So, our lovely Tina is just cutting some firewood, but normally, Lillian will be doing this all on her own so that she wouldn't have this support. So we've got some chai here. So, <coughs> so as you know, when the fire is cooking, there's always a lot of smoke and heat. So you've got to deal with that, that aspect of living rurally as well. So we've got three cups here and we've got the cups for the babies. Okay, so that's going to heat up. You come here. Oh, up we go. Right. All right. That's better, isn't it? 
So now we st it takes some time for the, the water to boil. So when it's raining, and you've got a whole rainy season as well, which goes for months, you're not eating. So how do you manage, if you can't cook, how do you manage to eat? What can, what can you eat that doesn't need cooking? Nothing. So when it's raining, she's not able to cook anything. There's nothing that they can eat that can't, that has, that, there's nothing that can be eaten that is not cooked. It has to, everything that's available has to be cooked. So they go hungry and she hopes then for the next day that there's no rain and that she can make some food for the family. So that's really challenging. So we have to wait some minutes before it's boiled. And also another thing that's really important is it's really important that the water is boiled really well because the water is not clean and the risk of infection is very high. Oh, now let me help Lillian. Now I'm just keeping out little baby giving cuddles because he wasn't feeling great. I think he's very hungry. So let's pop you on here on the mat. Okay, Harley. So now we've got the fire going. Yeah, it's a big process. She's trying to get wood from everywhere she can. She's pulling it from trees. She's trying to get it from the roof of the house. E anywhere and everywhere she can find something to make the fire go, she's doing, doing everything in her power to look out for her family, to make sure that her kids have at least got something in their belly. Ah, oh, I mean, it's just, it is so hard. So now what we've done is we've just put some, some wood, small kindle on the top because a fire is not enough. Let me use this and the, and also the kids are hungry. So they're, while she's doing this, she's also got to make sure that they're okay. The other kids are, I think are playing somewhere around. Now we're going to make sure we get this fire hot enough. I think I need to blow on it though. Oh, so much smoke. Whew. Ay, ay, ay. Should I blow around the other side maybe? Oh no. Let me pursue. So it's very challenging seeing how, trying to get, just trying to get the fire going to get a bit of boiled water. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now we have, way now we have some big flames coming thanks to our teacher friend who has just helped us to get the fire going a lot more. And I can see now the water is starting to get a bit more excited. <laughs> I, don't, I won't make it too strong for you, Lillian, because you might not actually be able to drink it. It might be a bit too intense for you. So now we've got this little bit of, this is a luxury for her, because often they, they don't even have oil or sugar or anything. 
So, oh, thank you, sweet pea. So we have our spoon, it's gonna be a stick. And I put a bit of sugar in there for the, for the kids. So now what I'm doing is we've got, this is our spoon. We're stirring the coffee and, oh, baby's hungry. So we're just having some cassava. So this is some cassava that she's bought just down, um, I think maybe the night before. Um, it's, it's very reasonably priced. So we give it to the babies first. Now she's also got some other friends that have come here to eat. So often in the community, there's lots of other people that are hungry. And everybody helps see each reality. other. Even, Even when she's got nothing, she's got this a small amount of cassava, I think that's from the night before. There's lots of other hungry mouths. So some other people have seen that there's some smoke going, that there's some smell of the tea. So they've come and they've got a little bit of food. And so even though she's got nothing, she's still sharing. It's just amazing. I'm gonna have some as well. You have some, you eat some. Oh, you got some, okay. So this is, this is fried cassava and it's nice. It's very simple and it's got, you know, lots of carbohydrates so it keeps the kids going. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, baby. And the, the tea is still very hot but it's cooled down by pouring it from cup to cup. And she's even sharing what little tea she has with all the other kids in the in the area, in the village. Here you go. It was very hot, be careful. Linda Oh. So the mat is full. We got some eating some food. It's delicious. Hey, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The babies on the bus go wah wah wah, wah wah wah, wah wah wah. The babies on the bus go wah 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 all day long. Boop, boop, boop. Horn on the bus goes beep 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep 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 all day long. Do, do, do. The babies on the bus go wah 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 wah. The babies on the bus go wah wah wah. Oh, day long. <laughs> Good job. Well done.